Hi, welcome to Sand Compounding. This is Sandeep Anand. Peter Lynch uh, was a legendary American investor who ran the Fidelity Magellan Fund between 1977 and 1990. And during this time, he really returned stupendous returns of 29.2% annual returns which is CAGR and Peter Lynch is a legendary investor he propagated you know his concept of everyone can invest buy what you see concept Peter Lynch has written a lot of books also three main books which are uh, one upon the Wall Street beating the street and uh, learn to earn and one upon the Wall Street is one of the first primer book that any investor budding investor needs to read and I think this was one of the first book I read and I fell in love with investing process Peter Lynch has a very nice way of putting things uh, so easy to uh, understand and he makes investing process so easy to understand so uh, here are a few investment nuggets from Peter Lynch take a look you should be intimidated everyone can do well in the stock market you have the skills you have the intelligence it doesn't require any education all you have to have is patience, do a little research, you've got it. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. Stocks are not lottery tickets. There's a company behind every stock. If a company does well, the stock does well. It's not that complicated. People get too carried away. And first of all, they try and predict the stock market. That is a total waste of time. No one can predict the stock market. And the single, the single most important thing to me in the stock market for anyone is to know what you own. I'm amazed how many people own stocks. They, they would not be able to tell you why they own it. They couldn't say in a minute or less why they own it. Actually, if you really press them down, they'd say the reason I own this is the sucker is going up. I mean, that's the only reason. <laughs> that's the only reason they own it. And if you can't explain, I'm serious, you can't explain to a 10-year-old in two minutes or less why you own a stock, you shouldn't own it. Well, I think not looking at the balance sheet, and this is a mistake I've made. If you look at, you know, if you look at a person's balance sheet, you look to see what the assets they own, their houses, if they own a house, if they own a car, what debt they have, and take that away. That's what your net worth is. You should do that with a company. And I've seen, I've seen investors look at companies that made, let's say, looking at two companies, they're very depressed. They're each at four dollars a share. But one company's, and they're each losing a couple million dollars a quarter. One company is a hundred million in cash and no debt, and one company has no cash and a hundred million in debt. They're about to blow taps on the second company. So you ought, and you could do this. You, if you get through eighth grade math and you get anywhere near eight and eight equals 16, you can do this. Look at a company's financial position. It's impossible to go bankrupt if you don't have any debt. Uh, you still buy a company, and you buy a company to grow. And if it's a textile company or it's an electronics company or a software company, you better understand what they do. And, and if they do well, the stock will do well, no matter what happens to the market. 